Number 30, the brakes on your car can slow you at a rate of 5.2 meters per second square. Letter A, if you're going 137 km per hour and suddenly see a state trooper, what is the minimum time in which you can get your car under the 90 km per hour speed limit? The answer reveals the futility of braking to keep your high speed from being detected with a radar or laser gun. Letter B, graph X versus T and V versus T for such a slowing. So the first thing that we have to do is to gather the information that we already have. So we know that the acceleration is equal to 5.2 meters per square second. However, we are decreasing the speed of the car. So we have to add the minus sign over here because it's a deceleration. We also know the initial speed which is equal to 137 kilometers per hour and we have to convert this to meters per second so we just have to divide this by 3.6 and this gives us roughly 38.1 meters per second the final speed we already know we also know it is 90 kilometers per hour so again you have to divide it by 3.6 and this gives us 25 meters per second let's say that the initial position is zero so it's easier for us to make the calculation but this could be the any value that you want but zero is easier right okay so this in this exercise we have uh, a constant acceleration you see the acceleration is constant this is the value of the acceleration and when the acceleration is constant there are three different equations that we can use we can use x equal to x o plus v o t plus a t is squared over 2 we can also use v equal to v o plus a t and we can use v squared equals to v o squared plus two times a delta x so those are the three equations that we can use when the acceleration is constant and the trick here is that you just circle the things that you don't know for example we don't know the final position we do know the initial position we know the initial speed we don't know the time it takes to decrease the speed from this to this to that uh, the acceleration we do know and t again we don't know okay we know we know no don't know no no we know we don't know so i just circle the things that we don't know in those three equations and now it's really easy to see which one of those equations that you have to use for example for letter a we want to know the minimum time so we want to find the value of t and the only equation that have only t circle is the second equation over here so that's the equation that we have to use for letter a so v is equal to v o plus a t so t is equal to v minus v o over a so v is the the, the final speed is 25 the initial speed is 38.1 and the acceleration is minus 5.2 and this gives us roughly 2.5 seconds so this is the answer of letter A for letter B we have to graph X versus T and V versus T for such a slowing so one thing that will help us is that if we find the distance that the car travel during this 2.5 five seconds so we have to find delta x over here so v squared is equal to v o squared plus two times a delta x so delta x is equal to v squared minus v o squared divided by 2 a so the final speed is 25 the initial speed is 38.1 don't forget to square it and the acceleration is minus 5.2 and this gives us roughly 79.6 meters so now we can start graphing 
x versus t and v versus t. So let's start from x versus t. So let's say this is t in seconds, this is x in meters, and we already know two points. We know that at the beginning of the movement, the position is zero. Okay, we just said that it's zero. And we know that after 2.5 seconds, the position is this one, 79.5. So we have two different points in our graph. And we have to connect those points. However, we cannot just draw a straight line over here because the function of the position is a second degree equation. So it should be something like this or something like this. But only if we have the complete graph, which is not the case here. <coughs> so let's think a little bit. So at the beginning of the movement, the speed is greater. So the slope is high, something like this. And at the end of the movement, the speed is not that great, so the slope is less than this slope over here. So it should be something like this. So if we are going to connect, it would be something like this. So where is the parabola over there? So the parabola, if you continue the movement, the parabola would appear. However, in this case, we don't have the parabola. So this is terrible drawing. So let me do it again. Okay, so now it's better, I guess, but you, you got the, the message, right? Okay, so for the velocity, it's the speed is easier. So this is t in seconds. This is v in meters per second. So we know the initial speed, which is this one, 137. And we know the final speed, which is... Uh, sorry, this is in kilometers per hour, should be in meters per second. So this is 38.1 and this is 25. And this happens when t equals to zero and 25 happens when t is equal to 2.5. So we have this point over here and that point over here and the velocity, the speed rather, the speed is a first degree equation. You see the one hidden over here. So it is a straight line, so you could connect it. You have to connect it with a straight line. So this is the graph of the speed versus t. And that's it.